So the one more praise to Yabba Hashem Yabashai, the one that said it passed us at Great Millstone. Another uh, kind of news update regarding this um, martial law and um, RFID chip, you know, which martial law in turn means um, them killing you tribes, putting you in them detention centres and fucking putting you down. It says, um, MS-13 gang could be labelled as a terrorist organisation. The crime cartel originated from LA have become a central target of the Trump administrations. Now we know now they're saying that the MS-13 gang are going to be labelled as terrorists. Man. Now what you got to understand is that MS-13, bro, MS-13, that is nothing but what I think it's a Mexican gang or one of them. Uh, you know I forget because I'm not you know all into or whatever it is El Salvador. So, which I, you know, if I'm not mistaken, this is a Christ. I can't really remember, but either way, the Israelites, so they basically they're saying that these guys are terrorists, bro. We went from ISIS to black ISIS members in the States, two gang members to other Jakes. You see how they're painting the picture here of the terrorists is these tribes. Attorney General Jeff Sessions said Tuesday that violent MS-13 gang could qualify as a terrorist organisation and that it would support a move to label it as such. That, and that would mean the Bloods, Blood, Crip. You know, that would mean all of that, man. You know? So I'm going to read on it. It says, hey, and that, you know, I just, I'm, so it says, I think, I think so. Perhaps I believe it could Qualify for that. Session said in an interview with Fox News, Tucker Carlson, there are rules that I guess that the State Department establishes to do that. Uh, let me read here. It says, Carlson has asked Sessions whether the US could take the same action as the government of El Salvador did in 2015 when it classified MS-13 as a terrorist organisation. Session said the answer is yes. Uh... But yeah, I got I got the point, man. I got the point, and I'm gonna I'm I'm go back to. But look, as I, as you see here, look, this is a Chicago people that they were saying they were eyes, and look, it was a black and a Puerto Rican, which you know, they're saying now, look, that they you niggas in the ghetto, and these were some ghetto niggas from Chicago or suburban, as the report said, are oh, these guys are terrorists. So now, they don't now this now you don't even have to be ISIS to be a terrorist. You see how they're painting the picture. You see how you see what they're doing here, bro. We can devastate this gang. We're going after them. He said we're not going to allow them to take over a block, a corner of a communities, and terrorize people with this violence. Look, terrorize people with this violence. Uh, Ag Sessions is doing a fantastic job today. News to dismantle violent gangs. Trump tweeted Tuesday afternoon. I promise to get tough, and we are. The president cited no evidence, almost blamed President Barack Obama and his admin, admin for the U.S. gang growth. The weak illegal immigration policies of Obama admin allowed bad MS-13 gangs to form. Uh, so, like I said, you got the point there. So, if, they, if they're going to label MS-13, an Israelite gang, as terrorists, no longer ISIS, but you niggas, that's you niggas. The New World Order means exterminating Israelites in, in how, whatever fashion it can do. You know, Esau's a snake, so, he, you know, he's sly. He, he's got ways about doing things. He's not, you know, he, he goes around the way to do things. Just like how he goes in the Middle East, he uses proxy armies. Yeah. He does all, he does things like that. He, you know, he doesn't... That's the way he plays it. So, because it's a war, man, and it's chess. So there you go, man. I'm going to close it there, Shalom.